At six, a story we broke first on WPRI.com. School officials confirm that a bus driver is suspended tonight after he allowed a dozen middle school students to walk a mile and a half to school after the bus broke down yesterday. The students were on their way to the Nathaniel Green Middle School in Providence. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance has been covering this story all day. She joins us now live from the newsroom. Well, we first want you to know that all of the students made it to school safely, but parents I spoke with today say they wanted to know why children were allowed to walk alone. You may remember what Wednesday's morning commute looked like, but for a dozen of Nathaniel Green Middle School students, their trip was anything but easy. I was shocked the kids had to walk them knowing it was a snowstorm. The bus broke down at Siemens and Sunbury Street. With the driver's permission, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders were allowed to get off and walk the rest of the way. That walk was a mile and a half. Somebody should have called the parent or somebody that had a cell phone should have called their parents and told all the kids to stay. Nick Cefeli's daughter is an eighth grader at Nathaniel Green. He says her friend was one of the 12 who walked. Providence school officials say the district sent another bus to pick up the students, but by then they already made it to school. I'm not saying that everybody, somebody should lose a job or suspended, maybe. That driver has been suspended. Providence schools use an Ohio-based bus company called First Student Inc. to transport students. The school district says this incident is rare. Still, Cefeli doesn't want this to happen again. Knowing it was snowing real bad, what if one of the kids got hurt and hit by a car? A first student rep says the bus driver has been working with the company for 14 years. Well, that bus driver is suspended pending the investigation. Reporting live in the newsroom, Shante Lance, Eyewitness News.